Now it's up to you to go out and practice the techniques that you've learned. It won't become completely natural until you've done it a few days or a few weeks. But if you go out and practice, it will become more and more natural and you'll have to think less and less about any of the aspects of it and just enjoy it. I encourage you to review the, the video, the DVD, from time to time to see if there's some things that you missed that have new meaning and can improve the experience. But there are a few things that I want you to remember when, you're, when you go out and start practicing. Remember, it's about intensity of the work that you do, not about the speed. So instead of trying to walk faster if you want to get more out of it, walk within what I call your personal walking speed limit. That's the maximum speed at which you find walking enjoyable. Now if you're walking with another person, you're going to have to let the, the lowest personal walking speed limit of the persons involved set the pace. But it doesn't matter how fast you walk because it's not about speed, it's about working with intensity, putting more work into the poles if you want to get more out of it. And in regard to that, the way to get the most out of it is always to make sure you reach out as far as you can into that handshake position. You never want to lock the elbow out, but you want to extend as much as you can without rock locking the elbow out. So the mantra that I want you to keep in mind is reach for the maximum results. If you reach for the maximum results, you get the most out of it. Keep a natural, comfortable stride. Don't try to increase your stride length, even if you're walking at a, a slower, natural pace. Keep the stride natural. It should feel as natural as walking at all times. Plant the pole lightly. Remember I said lift the arm, don't lift the pole, and the pole will find its own place. And once it lands, put as much force into it as you want. But make sure you land it lightly. You want to always grip the pole as lightly as possible. And always remember the handshake and the pump handle technique. Remember to extend out into that handshake and push down, pivoting from the shoulder. Don't bend the elbow. Push down, bring it back up. Push down, bring it back up. You can monitor yourself when you're walking if you watch your upper arm. If you're doing a proper handshake and pump handle technique, you can see the upper arm moving. If you get lazy and sloppy, you're going to look down, you're going to see your arm moving, but your upper arm not moving at all. So look down and make sure that's moving. And if you're walking with somebody else, you can remind yourself, you can monitor each other. My wife and I do it all the time. If I'm getting lazy, she'll say, watch your arms. And I'll look down and I'll look at my arms and I'll get back to that good technique. So remember that results come from attention to the details of the, of the technique. You don't have to be perfect about it, but the more attention you pay and the better technique you develop, the more results you're going to get. And think of exercise as a long-term investment. Don't think, about, don't, don't think that you're going to get amazing results in a matter of a couple of days. You're going to feel amazing in a couple of days, but the results of any exercise are going to come over time. You don't have to do the no pain, no gain thing. Basically, you're putting 90% of your body to use, doing thousands of repetitions, working the muscles, flooding your body with oxygen, getting nutrients to all your cells in your body, and that's going to improve your health, improve your energy over time. You're going to want to do it every day. A lot of people, when they start an exercise, they say, gosh, how many times a week do I need to do this? And I more often hear from people, and they say, do you, is there any problem with doing this every day? Because if I don't do it every day, I just don't feel as well as what I do when I do it each day. They feel energized by it. Good use exercise where you don't abuse your body should make you actually feel more energized. So my advice from you, for you is stop thinking of life like it's a high intensity activity and exercise needs to be that way. Life isn't a race, it's an endurance event and my, my guidance is to try to finish as far back in the pack as you can and enjoy every step along the way and that'll make exercise fun. And exercising is the way to get the most out of it because you're involving your entire